and you are going to be playing Monopoly based on this one as well, on top of your Unit 1. Now, in Unit 1, you learned about your, lear um, your earnings, which we now call gross earning, because when you earn money, um, it's not that you're going to get everything into your pocket. There will be some deductions that will be um, deducted from your paycheck every time. And there are some common ones and there are some optional ones depending on who you are working for, what the, the type of job, and on, okay? So um, to get everything in order, we need to know um, a couple of things ahead of time in terms of the terminology. So the first thing is uh, we call SIN number or social insurance number. So without this, you cannot work. Um, I will say 99% of the time, maybe 100% of the time, um, your employer will ask you for your SIN number to have you um, on their system. So that is the first thing. And SIN number can be um, given to the citizens, a permanent immigrant, or even the, um, the people who have just a working visa. Now, then the second term that you have to know is something called, there you go, something called the gross pay. So gross pay is something that you earn by working from, um, or for how many hours? Um, this is the face value of it per se um, that you see on your um, employment contract per se. But um, when you work, um, you get the deductions from your total pay and then you get the net pay and that's what we call this okay so um net pay also um also known as take home pay so this is take home pay um because that's the amount that you take home actually okay and that is calculated based on this way. So your gross pay, subtracting whatever the deductions, and that will give you the net pay. Now, um, some of the, not some of the, sorry, um, all of the mandatory deductions in Ontario, at least, um, different provinces will have different things in the deduction items. Um, for the mandatory one, the first one is the income tax. So, when you um, earn money, um, there will be always income tax deducted from your paycheck as long as it is above around $14,000 a year, okay? So if your gross pay is more than $14,000 a year, there will always be an income tax. And some of you may think, that, oh, I'm just going to make less than $14,000. It really doesn't make any sense because that's almost nothing, Okay. And in the income tax, there are two portions. Um, the first one is the provincial, which is Ontario, and then the federal. And when you pay the income tax, you pay both. And usually your employer pre-calculates these and then automatically deduct from your paycheck. Now, second one is employment insurance. Employment insurance. And this is the uh, premium money that you have to pay from your paycheck every time, which is, again, automatically deducted. Um, this is for um, your um, time that you lose your job. So, for example, um, not that you get fired, um, but you are laid off. So, let's say your um, employer goes bankrupt or there is not enough jobs that they have to let you go. Then um, you can apply for this and you will get... Um, some money every two weeks or so until it runs out. So to prepare for those um, fund, you pay this em employment insurance premium from your paycheck every time. Okay, And this is automatically calculated. And then the last one for the mandatory part is uh, Canada Pension Plan. So Canada Pension Plan is basically the money that you will get um, when you retire. Um, now, this is not the free money that you get. It's actually the money you put um, before you retire and it accumulates. So the um, this is also automatically deducted from your paycheck every time. So income tax, employment insurance, and Canada pension plan, these three um, items or these three um, amounts are automatically deducted from your paycheck every single time. Okay. 
Now, then there are some optional ones. It depends on then um, you, who you are working for or where you're working, what kind of job you're doing. So the first one is a plan to help cover medical costs. And these are the um, health benefits. So sometimes you need to pay for, let's say, um, prescription for your medication or um, some equipment for your medical purpose, or you need to see a specialist such as um, massage therapist or physiotherapist or chiropractor, etc. cetera. Um, those uh, will incur some cost and your health benefits will cover um, those. But again, this is not free. You actually have to contribute uh, some portion of your income every time. And this is optional. Um, so certain companies do mandate this. However, um, quite a lot of them give you an option whether you choose to do it or you choose not to do it. But when you choose not to do it, um, yeah, I think you can still um, take it later on. And some companies don't even offer it, okay? Now, the next one is money deducted and invested on employees' behalf to save for retirement costs. So this is on top of the can of the pension plan, the CPP. So this is your, this is your, um, where am I? Ah, pension plan, right. So this is your pension plan. And this is a private pension plan, okay. And then the last one is some jobs have uh, organized labor force that negotiates and deal with employer for all employees. Um, we call this one um, union. And union is not for free. Um, they actually are doing the servicing for us. So we have to pay them. And that's uh, we call union dues. Okay. So again... Um, these three are optional and these three are mandated. So we are going to focus on these three uh, rather than the latter three, okay? Now, since we know the definitions of the terms, then we need to know the purpose of this. So why um, are we learning about the net income? Um, why can't we just use the gross income? Well, as I said, um, at, on the gross income, there will be deductions, at least the three items. Uh, as I said, income tax, employment insurance premium, and the Canada Pension Plan contribution. Now, then you need to know how much you're actually taking home um, so that you know what you can buy and what you can afford. So that is the reason, okay? So this, we're going to use a special term um, called the purchasing power meaning what is your power to purchase. So to know um, how much you can spend. And this is basically called purchasing power. Okay. Now then calculating the net income and the deductions are actually quite simple. So what you need to do is you need to go to the Google Classroom and under the calculator app program tab, um, you will have unit two deductions and net income calculator. So if we go to the Google Classroom, go to the classwork, under apps, calculators, programs and tools, you see the unit two deductions and net income calculator. You click that and open it. And I actually want you to open it on a separate browser because we're going to go back and forth and back and forth. Um, now, then from this, you actually see this screen. And some of you who were in class yesterday um, know this already. So for the top portion of it, it says enter your gross income and then per and where do you work. Now, set the where do you work to be Ontario all the time since you are assuming that you're in Ontario. Um, and then for the per part, you can actually change these from annual to month to biweekly, weekly, daily, or hourly. So in that case, um, it all depends on what the situation is. If you are dealing with the income for weekly, then that will be set to be weekly. If um, you're dealing with monthly income, then that will be monthly. Okay. And then gross income is how much ever that you earn. 
and then right below you have the salary rate so this salary rate basically tells you how many times or what frequency you're getting paid so is it every two weeks you're getting the paycheck is it every month that you're getting the paycheck um, are you looking for the monthly net income or are you looking for the annual net income are you looking for weekly net income or bi-weekly net income so what time frame um, that you're uh, you're looking for the net income for okay so that's what this salary rate is for so once you put the numbers and calculate it basically shows everything there so under salary as you can see it says a federal tax deduction and provincial tax deductions so as you can see the federal and the provincial tax deductions the um, sum or the total of these two tax deductions are we call income tax okay and we have cpp canada pension plan deduction and ei employment insurance deduction as well and then after that it gives you the total tax which is the total deductions and you have your net pay right there. So all you have to do is knowing how to use this program and knowing how to read it, okay? So let's do a couple of examples and then rest should be quite okay. So when we go back to this, um, the A is basically the gross income amount that you found, okay? Income amount. And B, is per so that is then your income frequent or income period okay so for example is the income weekly or is it bi-weekly income or is it monthly income or annual income now c is your um, work location in province so where do you work you work in ontario then it is ontario but if you let's say work in alberta then there should be um, alberta instead of ontario so that is your work location or earning, employment location, I'll say. Employment location. And the last one, D, this is for your net income period. So are you looking for the net income of the annual, monthly, bi-weekly, weekly, daily, hourly? So. This is your net income period, okay? Now let's do then some of the examples and you should be completely fine. So now you should be um, quite familiar with this setup. So Sean makes $32 an hour, okay? So $32 an hour and regular hours and then it says for 40 hours a week. Now it's not over um, 44 hours, so the regular hour is 40, overtime is zero. So then when we are calculating the weekly earning, we go back to our Google Classroom and we go to the unit one, the regular and overtime calculator. As usual, so I'm gonna open it up on the on Safari. So here the income, I believe the hourly rate was 32 and the no, um, normal work hours was 40, overtime was a zero, so we calculate. And then it gives us um, 1,280, 1,280. So that means, hmm, hmm, oops, that means our gross income here is 1,280. And that was weekly, so we choose weekly. And then we calculate. And it gives us the actual um, net income of weekly. As you can see, the weekly is selected in the salary rate. If we want to figure out the annual net income based on this information, then we tap the annual. And it tells us how much the tax deductions, CPP deduction, EI deduction for the year, and the total deduction, which is the total tax as well, and the net pay. Okay. Don't use the day and hour, okay? Don't use day and hour. Those are actually quite inaccurate. So just use annual, month, bi-weekly, or weekly. Hopefully that made sense. Now, then, we have 1280 for this. Our gross, uh, ignore um, this one. Change this one to net weekly earning so this is what we need to change it to so net weekly earning
weekly earning so net weekly earning in this case is 914 as you can see okay 914 so this is then 914 and net annual earning to find it we need to tap the salary rate annual and it gives us 47514 so that will be 47514. And as you know, the monopoly money, we dropped the last two numbers. So that will be 475. Okay. And then the rest, you just need to copy it from the program. And here we have the federal tax of uh, 10,023. Okay. There you go, 10,023. Where is it? There you go. And then provincial is uh, 4,570, 4,570. So 4,570. So total income tax, we just need to add these two. And that will be 14,593. So that is our total income tax, not total deductions. Okay. Then here we have a CPP deduction of 3,500. And then EI of 953. Mm, where is it? No. There you go. 953. So for the total deductions, and this is also we call total tax on the program, we add these three items together, okay? And that we need to have, and but it's also already on the program. And that's written right here, 47514. Or sorry, um, total deduction here is actually 19046. One nine zero four six. So your net income is four seven five one four. So hopefully this makes sense. Okay. So let's actually give this a try, and then after that, actually, we'll ask you to do this one on your own. So let's give this one a try one more time. Okay. Now, if I'm going too fast, um, please pause the video here and then copy it. Now, for example, two. David earns 17.5 per hour, so hourly rate, 17.5. And if he works 44 hours a week, well, 44 hours is the regular hours because it is not above 44 hours. So overtime is still zero, right? Now, gross weekly earning. So here we have to put... I don't know why I'm not getting the... Um, show keyboard. Okay, sure. 17.5. Um, and normal hours was 44. Overtime is obviously zero. Now you calculate the weekly gross pay is a 770. So this is a 770. Now change this to... Um, net weekly so net weekly now then we know the gross weekly earning so we need to find the net weekly we go back to this uh, deduction and the income tax calculator so we have 770 and that was weekly and we calculate this and it automatically gives us the net income for the weekly earning which then tells us 569. So that is 569. And the net annual earning, to find the net annual earning, we tap the um, salary rate. We do not choose this one, that's for the gross only. And when you're looking for the net, you're gonna choose the salary rate. So the annual here is 29584. So 29,000, Five hundred and eighty-four. So monopoly money is two ninety-five, and then the rest is just a copying down portion of it. So for the annual deductions, it says five four zero six federal tax, right? 
So 5406, provincial income tax, which is right here, provincial tax deduction 2335. So 2335, and you add these two, and that should, and uh, you have to use your calculator for this, 7741, okay? And then your CPP, according to this one, we have 2083, right? Right there, CPP, 2083. So 2083, and then the EI amount is 633. So EI deduction, 633. So the total deduction is addition of these three numbers, and it's also written in the program right here as the total tax. Now again, this total tax is not the total tax, that's actually the total deduction, so be careful of confusion, okay? This is not the total income tax on your sheet. This total income tax is not the total tax on the program, okay? So total tax on the program is this total deductions at the bottom, and that is 10456. So 10456. Okay, so that's how you actually do. The rest is exactly the same. So I actually want you to give uh, example three a try, um, but if you're having trouble, please ask, okay? And then if you can do example three, try example four, and the rest is pretty much the same, okay? So pause the video um, and then try these, okay? And... Um, Then we can move on to example five, okay? So please um, take up the question um, example three and four, and then once everything is all good to go, please move to the example um, five and six. Now for example five, it says Michael gets paid biweekly $2,000. How much is his biweekly net income? Well, simple, right? It says 2,000 gross, $2,000 and bi-weekly, and uh, we calculate this, then it gives us the net pay of bi-weekly, 1,460, so 1,460. How much is his monthly? Same way. We do not change anything, because it's just asking monthly net income, so we just choose month over there for the salary rate, and it gives us the amount right here automatically. So net pay, 3,163. 3163. Now, if he spends $3,000 a month, does he have enough earning to make a living? Well, yes. Um, his take home pay is $3,163, and he needs to spend $3,000. So he makes a little more than $3,000, how much he spends. So, yes. Because he makes, um, or his because his net pay or net earning or net income is more than $3,000, okay? Example six, same thing as an example five. So give it a try, and if you do, then everything is all good to go, okay? So the answer key for these Examples are on the Google Classroom. If you want to refer back to, um, please do so, okay? And let's just give this a try, maybe. Example six. If Susie gets paid weekly $700, uh, what is her bi-weekly? So it says bi-weekly net income. So our gross is weekly, but the net is bi-weekly. So our gross is 700 but it says weekly. So we need to change that to weekly, and we calculate. And for the net income, it's asking us to figure out the bi-weekly. So I tap the bi-weekly in the salary rate section, and it gives us the net pay for that bi-weekly of 10, um, 1038 So 1038 And how much is the monthly net income? So it's asking us monthly net income. So I tap month in the salary rate, and the net pay is 2249 2249 2249 now, in that case, if he spends $2,000 a month, does he have enough? Yes. 
Yes, because his net income is more than how much he spends, which is 2000 So. So that's how you do. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense to you. Um, please ask if it is not clear. Um, then what you need to do now is try all these uh, number one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven um, on your practice. But the thing that you have to change is change the gross annual to net weekly. Okay, so when you see gross annual in your question sheet, change that to net weekly. So even for number two, that is net weekly. And then number three as well, that's net weekly. And number four too, I assume, I think. There we go. So gross annual, no, that is actually net weekly. Okay. So please give this a try and it should be fine. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on Thursday. Bye.